Good morning, welcome to our Lent series Thought for the Day and I've been given Psalm 110, most incredible psalm, Johnny must really love me. He gave me Psalm 23 and now he's given me this incredible psalm and this psalm um, is the most quoted in the New Testament. In fact, um, one PhD article I read said it's the most quoted uh, portion of the Tanakh in the New Testament. It's quoted over 30 times. Um, and you'll pick up some of that, I'm sure, if you've read through some of the words of Jesus. Psalm 110, it starts like this. The Lord says to my Lord, Yahweh says to Adonai. This psalm uh, attributed to David, talking of how Yahweh speaks to Adonai, the king. And Jesus takes this um, and applies it to himself. Matthew 22, if then David calls him Lord, how can he be his son? And he refers to this being about himself. Um, they were expecting Messiah. They were expecting um, someone from the kingly line of David. But Jesus says, yeah, not only is he the son of David from the line of David, he's also almighty God. This silences them. Then verse four. Oh, by the way, that's not my thought for the day. Verse four, the Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek, this um, incredible character we first meet up with in Genesis 14. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, king of Jerusalem, brought out bread and wine to Abraham. He was a priest of God most high. This incredible character who was a, a, a worshipper of Yahweh. He was a priest of Yahweh. He was king of Jerusalem, which means king of peace, and he was a priest forever. And this, again, attributed to Jesus. Jesus, um, in this order, and making the point that um, it goes on to say it was without genealogy. Like Jesus, he's eternal, has this eternal aspect. Hebrews 7, Melchizedek means king of righteousness, then also king of Salem, means king of priests, without father or mother, without genealogy, beginning of, of days or end of life, resembling the Son of God, Jesus, a priest forever, our priest. So Jesus, king, Lord, Messiah, Melchizedek, king of peace, eternal from the Father to us. What an incredible psalm. But that's not my thought for the day. And those that will know me will probably guess if you've read through this psalm and I encourage you just to read through it. Verse 5. Hold out your hand right now. Just hold out your hand. The Lord is at your right hand. Jesus uses this turn of phrase all the time. The kingdom is at hand. The king is near. Jesus is near. His promise never to leave you, never to forsake you, always be with you. I'll put my kingdom within you. That's how close his kingdom is. The kingdom, the Lord is at your right hand. So here we have the Lord said to my Lord, the Lord, a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek, but the Lord is at your right hand. So what's my thought for the day? Is this, no matter what we're going through, no matter which circumstances we're in, we can take hold of the Lord's hand. He's that close. And in putting our hand into the hand of King Jesus, in a sense we're, we're in the strength of the Lord. We have um, the King walking with us throughout the day. So my thoughts this, give your troubles to him, give your difficulties to him, but invite him to walk with you hand in hand every moment of this day. Now, we know physically that's not possible. But with the eyes of faith, 
his promises. He's right with us. The Lord is at your right hand. So, Father, that's my prayer for me and for each one of us today. That we would stop and realise that your kingdom is right here. And if the kingdom's here, the king is here. And Jesus, take hold of our hand today and lead us through every moment, good or bad, you are with us. And because of that, we're thankful. Have a great day, everybody.